Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm going to be going over a few more tips and tricks on the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A 10.1 with S Pen. And yes, that is a mouthful. So our first uh, little trick here is one you may have already discovered, but if you haven't, you're going to love it. So if your tablet is off, let's turn it off here, and you take the S Pen out, it will launch our quick notes section. So guess what, the tablet's still off, but because I took the pen out, it automatically launches my little, uh, my little uh, dry erase or uh, your little whiteboard, and I can write some notes. Groceries, eggs, milk, butter. So just by taking the pen out, it automatically turns the tablet on, launches your notes, and it allows you to just start writing. It's called screen off memo. And when you're done, go ahead and hit save. And it will save it to your notes section on the tablet. So it's a really fun little thing. Um, it definitely, again, allows you to, to take advantage of the S Pen and just do a little more with it. So just take it out when the tablet's off and you're good. Our second little tip is going to be how to um, do, do two things. How to add a user to, to your tablet. Uh, so let's say maybe if you have a younger child or maybe a sibling you want to share the tablet with or maybe you want to let your husband or wife use the tablet as well. You can actually set up a separate user account just for them uh, just by swiping down and tapping on this little circle profile icon right here. You can add a, a whole separate user or you can just do guest mode. Now guest mode is great because hey, if somebody's like, hey, can you use your tablet? I want to look this up or blah, 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 whatever they say. Um, you can put it in guest mode and then they don't have access to any of your things. They're in a separate section that's partitioned of things only they can see. They can't look at your emails, they can't look at your pictures, they can't even look at your browser history on Chrome. It sets up a whole separate uh, section just for them to use. They can't make any changes to your settings. Um, it's really nice and it's one of the things I love because my little brother always when he comes over he says hey Can I use your tablet? And I'm like sure But I make sure it's in guest mode so that he can't mess with any of the stuff I have open All right, our next little tip Is going to be how to turn off Flipboard briefing now when you swipe to the left again when you're on the home screen and you swipe excuse me not to the left when you swipe to the right it will bring up Flipboard, and a lot of people don't like this. I personally use it. I think it's cool to be able to just pull up the news like that. But if you don't like it, here's how you turn it off. Go ahead and hold down the home screen. Just find a blank spot. And then once you get to this view, swipe to the right. And then just tap right next to briefing. If you go ahead and tap that, it will turn it off. And now it's gone. Now the tough part is it still won't allow you to scroll through the tablet. It only will allow you to swipe left, but either way, it just is what it is. So um, that's how you turn off Flipboard. And let's jump to our next little tip, which is one of my favorites, um, which is called Multi-Window, which allows you to use two apps at one time. All you have to do is, um, so find the home button, and to the left, you're gonna find the recent apps button. And what we wanna do is just hold down on recent apps, and it will launch your split screen mode now uh, or script split screen view in this view I can pick two apps and have them open side by side and you know basically allow me to multitask so I'm gonna do YouTube over here and I'm gonna do Google Chrome over here so it's really cool I can pull up a little YouTube video here and have it playing while I'm surfing the web over here. You can also turn the tablet portrait mode and you can use it, have the video on top and the web at the bottom or vice versa. When we tap on this little bubble here in the center, you can actually have them switch places. Maybe you want the video on one side, the internet on the other, no worries, you can do that too. And there's even some options where it allow you to drag information. For example, if you had uh, email here and the internet here you could drag information from there bring it over here so really cool you are a bit limited in this section hold down again so there's only certain apps that are compatible so you'll notice only the apps that come up 
are the ones you can use in split screen so it doesn't include everything which kind of sucks but either way it's still a very useful feature and again I love to have the internet open and have a YouTube video playing at the same time so um, you know we've got to take it for what it is one day it will allow us to do more but right now that's what we have our final uh, little trick which is a really cool one is pop-up apps let me show you how this works um, only compatible with certain apps um, but Chrome for example is one of the apps that are compatible if I go to the corner and I swipe down from the corner I can actually shrink this window down and move it around the screen so you're gonna put your finger on the little bubble at the top and I can drag that and just keep it open as a pop-up so guess what I can continue to look through here I guess what maybe I want to have my notes app open in the background I can have my notes open and still have my pop-up here and I can even make that a pop-up actually so it'll tell you if the app is not supported which it isn't so gotta close that one um, but it will keep the app open here I can go to YouTube for example I can have YouTube open as a pop-up as well which is a very useful app to do that with let's try it again corner so I can have YouTube here and I can actually be watching a video while maybe I'm using another app in full screen maybe I'm reading an article on Flipboard or I'm looking at some of the stuff on um, ESPN I can be looking at the scores well, I have a YouTube video playing right here so it's just again showing off the different things you can do with multitasking um, and that's just sort of a quick summary of how those things work so these have just been a couple of just uh, tips and tricks guys want to show you all this tablet can do because it does a whole lot and I hope you did find this video helpful make sure you like favorite and share the video if you did find it helpful and make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one